You're welcome, Rachel. How are you? Just trying to forget about the incident. I just can't imagine how you feel. I'm so sorry. I've been trying not to think about it as well. Your mother is not only a sister to me, she acted like a mother too. I really don't want to talk about her. I want to put this behind me. It's okay. I understand. Thank you. Meet your cousins, Beatrice, the eldest. Hello, Rachel. Welcome to our home. Meet Sarah, the youngest. Welcome, Rachel. We're happy to see you. Please feel comfortable. This is your home. And we are your family. Thank you. She don't look too happy. Because she lost her mom, of course she looks sad. I mean she doesn't look too happy been here. We're saying the same thing. Maybe. You're always trying to read meaning to everything. I'm sorry. Alright let me take you to your room. Okay. You still got on your bag? Yes. Okay. So would you like to complete your high school? I learn you're in your senior year. No, I don't want to. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I want to work so I can fend for myself. I don't want to be sheltered forever. This is not a shelter. This is your home. Yes, I know. I just would prefer working. My sister, your mom would really love you to complete your education. But if you insist. She once told me you owned a restaurant. Do you need an extra hand? Yes, I actually do. I don't mind working there. Okay, I'll take you there tomorrow. Okay, thanks. You're most welcome. Mom, I feel a certain way about this. About what? Her choosing to work rather than being in school. That's her choice, I really can't force her. But, Sarah please, enough. The best we can do is make her feel comfortable and welcomed not impose things on her. Sorry Mom, you're right. Rachel, are you okay? I feel sick from the food. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. Do you have any allergies? Yes, I do. Okay, do you have specific meals that you take? Yes, I can give you a list. Please do. I'm sorry, I should have asked. Mom, why are we getting extra food items? The kitchen is stocked already. Your cousin has been having constant allergies from our regular meals. So she gave me a list of meals she eats. Um. Okay. But can we afford it? That shouldn't bother you. Okay. You don't seem welcoming of her. Why is that? What? I do mom, I just. You just what? Nothing, maybe I just have a wrong feeling. Please we need to make her comfortable as much as possible, so she don't feels the loss of her mom. I'm still trying to process everything, I can only imagine how she feels. Okay mom. Thank you. Sarah, why are you still in class? Aren't you going home? The school bus must have left. I don't feel too good. Why? What's wrong? Do you mind sharing? I feel like... I don't know how to put this. Put it in any way you can. I don't know why I can't fit in. I always feel some type of negativity. In terms of people, or your environment. If I'm around someone, I always sense something negative about them, and if I speak, my mom and my sister thinks I'm a bad person, or I usually don't like people or I'm afraid. Do you always sense something negative? Majority of the time, yes. I really don't want to feel like this. It's called the gift of discernment. What does that mean? It means to know and understand something through the power of the Spirit. It's a gift from God. He shows you things that no one else can see, in a short span of time, almost immediately. Do you read Bibles? Yes, but not often. You should consider reading the Bible more often. Understanding the Word of God and being filled with the Holy Spirit will help you understand how to sharpen your spiritual discernment and see in the Spirit. Could you explain it further? Of course. The scriptures talk about the discernment of spirits. 
1 Corinthians 12 verse 10 says, To another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discernment of spirits, to another diverse kind of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. You see, these are all spiritual gifts. I've had this gift for a long time. Gift of discernment from the Holy Spirit allows you understand or know something through the power of the Spirit, it includes perceiving the true character of people, warning signs, wrong decisions. When you feel a decision is wrong, you suddenly become fearful, less confident. Yes, this is exactly how I feel. You also have to understand that this gift, irritates and scares people. But, you have to understand how to apply it without judgment or being rude especially when trying to convince someone older than you. Praying often will teach you ways to apply your gifts of discernment to guide yourself and others, ways to intercede for others, see through lies. Thank you for this, now I know I'm not crazy or a bad person. No you're not. The more you sharpen your spiritual discernment, observe energies in your immediate surroundings, you tend to listen more to what people are not saying and less to what they are saying. You see through lies. How do I sharpen my gift of discernment? Prayer reading the Bible often. Observation. Okay, thank you Madam Lisa. You have to go home, it's getting late. Do you want me to drop you off? Yes, please. Thank you. All right. Let's go. Hello Rachel. Have you eaten anything today? No I haven't. Why? I'm allergic to the food. Including the new ones? I know what you're going through right now is hard, I can't even imagine. And I'm really sorry, but please be patient with my mom. She's really trying her best to make you comfortable. We all are. Fine, I'll stop eating. I'm not interested anymore. You can keep the food. Please don't be like that. I don't mean you shouldn't eat. I'm sorry if I said something to offend you. What's going on? I just told her to be a little patient with us concerning the food. Why would you do that? Never say that to her again. She is your cousin, she can eat whatever she want, you're not the provider here, I am. This should be the last time you say that to her. Do you understand? Yes mom, I'm sorry. Rachel please don't mind whatever Sarah says. If you feel like eating anything, just let me know, okay? Okay. Why is my stomach knotting up so bad? Maybe I shouldn't have said anything to her. Something is just not right. Lord Jesus make it clear. Father protect my mother. Protect my family. Sarah, Mom told me you confronted Rachel about her food situation. Yes, I did. But I wasn't trying to attack her, I just wanted her to be patient with Mom. You do understand that she said she's allergic, not like she's purposely rejecting the food. I know that. I feel like you just don't like her. I'm really trying to like her. I just can't, I'm sorry. Come on Sarah, what is it this time? I don't know. I see mom struggling to keep up with her meals and she keep complaining about having allergies from almost every food. So what does she eat exactly, before she got here? Mom is spending so much just to make her comfortable, and she knows that, the least she can do is try to be considerate. I understand she's trying to cope with the loss, but something don't just feel right. I really don't know what to tell you, you usually don't feel good about a lot of things but you've never been this vocal. I just feel like you should calm down and we could watch how long she's going to pick on every food. Okay. I see what you're saying, but I'm just assuming she's trying to adjust, that may be the cause of her allergies. And you don't have to feel negatively or suspicious about everything, it's weird. Sarah, 
What's wrong? Are you okay? My stomach keep nodding up, I don't feel good, I feel sick. You should go to the health department and get checked up. Okay. Please get me a bowl of noodles as well. Why didn't you say that when you requested for tea? I'm sorry, I didn't think I was hungry then, but I am now. Do you have a slow memory or something? Why would she say that? Excuse me, what did you say? I said, do you have a slow memory? You know what? You can keep the tea and noodles, I'm leaving. Well bye, do I look like a slave to you? Excuse me sir. What is it? I'm really sorry about what just happened, she's kind of new here. I don't care if she's new here or not, that young lady has a nasty spirit, and if you guys know what's good for you, she should be fired immediately, of your customers will be completely gone before you even realize it. I'm really sorry please, you know this has never happened, and I've served you a couple of times. Please pardon her. I'll make sure I tell my mom about this. Please. You're right, I've never experienced this here before, so because of you I'll let this go but I won't be eating here today. I'm so sorry. It's alright, maybe next time. Sarah, how are you feeling now? Feeling better. Do you still get those negative feeling? Yes, I do. Is it always frequent? Not really, but since my cousin started living with us, I've been having this negative energy around me. How do you really feel? It's going to sound crazy. Just say it. I feel like she doesn't like my family. I feel like she's here to wreck us financially, but I might be wrong. I caught her speaking to a customer rudely. This happened yesterday when I got home. Immediately I got to the restaurant, I felt okay. Maybe my spirit wanted me to see that. I really don't know. She keeps demanding different kinds of meals, my mom spends so much on food, which I noticed she usually throws remnants in the trash. That's way stage. I don't want to think too deep, because she's still grieving the loss of her mother, but her character seems strange. And what annoys me the most is, I'm the only one that can see it. I don't know. I've been praying a lot lately, because my stomach keeps nodding up. I understand how you feel. You're trying not to judge openly, in case you end up being wrong. I'm happy you pray often. When we pray, we focus our mind on our Heavenly Father. Prayer is not just a time to tell God what we want. It helps us hear his message. Also, reading the scriptures diligently, our understanding of the gospel increases and so does our ability to recognize truth and error. Don't stop listening to your feelings no matter the circumstances. In your daily life, obey God's word, it allows the Spirit of God to be resident in your body. Through the Spirit of God, your gift of discernment becomes more clearer. 1 Timothy 4 verse 14 says, Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with laying on of the hands of the presbytery. If you feel some kind of way about your cousin, regardless of her situation, don't stop observing her. It doesn't matter if no one sees it. You're the one blessed with the foresight, use it to intercede for your family. Pray that whatever is hidden in the dark should come to light. Thank you so much for your kind words. I didn't understand what I had till you explained it to me, I didn't even think it was a gift, because of how distant and weighed down I feel about certain things and people. You have to understand that people are afraid of this gift. Something I need you to understand is, having the spirit of discernment is guide you, in day-to-day -day life and dealing with people, you could use this gift to help others as well. But you should never allow the knowledge of the truth weigh you down. You're right. I'll try not to allow it weigh me down. Good. All right, you should get going. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.
You don't look too happy. The last born of my aunt irritates me. I want her eliminated. She's a threat to my mission. Not yet. When the time comes, you will be told. The potion I'm about to give you will weaken her gifts. This potion has been prepared. Make sure you add it to the customer's food as you serve. Okay. Including your aunt's food. Okay. Just like your mom, your aunt will become weak physically and spiritually till she leaves the physical world. With the inclusion of her kids, you shall have more souls under your belt. Your title and power will be given to you. This portion I'm about to give you must not be seen or touched by anyone. Do you understand? Yes. Go back and continue your mission. Are you cooking? Yes, of course. I'll let you when it's ready. Um. Okay. Rachel, cooking? That's odd. Smiling even. Maybe she feels comfortable now. <laughs>